Welcome to another pristine 60-second lesson. What is slippage? This 60-second lesson is part of a library of educational material intended for beginning traders but may also be very beneficial to intermediate traders because so much information out there about trading is inaccurate. What is slippage? Slippage is the difference between the price where you try to enter your position and the price at which you actually get filled. Slippage occurs very simply because you're trying to buy more shares than what are available at that moment. Remember that what is available may be being decreased by someone else at the exact same moment. The same is true when you're trying to sell more shares than someone is willing to buy at that price at that moment. Can you consistently trade with no slippage? The answer is yes. Let's explore that concept. Let's take a look at how to trade with no slippage at all, and when that is not possible, how to trade with as little slippage as possible, and also how to minimize slippage when it's unavoidable. Let's look at all the variables involved. The biggest variable that will determine what techniques are needed to minimize slippage is simply the number of shares you want to buy. Traders with smaller accounts that are buying 10 or 50 or 100 shares will not often encounter slippage problems at all. Traders with larger accounts may be buying several thousand shares and will have slippage as a primary concern. The next biggest issue is the tradeability of the stock, and that will largely be based in the total liquidity of the stock. Some stocks trade many millions of shares a day, and some only trade a few thousand. Other variables we'll look at include the types of trades that you do, the time of day that you enter, and other techniques that can be used. The first and simplest answer is to trade liquid stocks. There are many stocks that will support the buying and selling of several thousand shares with one push of a button and not slip even a penny. How many stocks do you think trade at least 8 million shares a day? That's a lot. On a typical day, there will generally be over 100 stocks that are trading over 8 million shares a day. Not all of the stocks trade identically, but generally these stocks will support large buying and selling without slippage. Even on a slow day, there are generally 200 stocks that trade at least 4 million shares. Of course, the actual stocks may change week to week, as the high volume stocks are sometimes changing. The strategies you trade will greatly affect the slippage you have. Slippage will be most difficult when trading long consolidations that are breaking out at the high of the day, and will be even more difficult if it's a very thin base. Pullback type of entries are generally easier entries, and they allow alternate entries that could eliminate slippage totally, such as legging into positions or using secondary signs of strength. The time frames you are playing will also matter. Scalp trades typically have smaller targets which require tighter stops, which require higher share size to make more money, and this increased share size will increase the chance for slippage. Taking longer term day trades will have the reverse effect and decrease the chance for slippage. When taking long term positions such as swing or core trades, slippage is generally not an issue at all. The time of day you enter trades makes a big difference also. While the early part of the trading day has very good volume, the first 5 to 30 minutes can be deadly for slippage because there are wider spreads and the volatility is so great, normal rules are sometimes not enforced. At the other extreme are very slow periods like the lunchtime doldrums that can cause lower volume and wider spreads, which also can cause greater slippage. If after understanding all of the above you find yourself in a trading style environment where slippage is still an issue, there are other advanced ways you can explore to minimize slippage. These include anticipatory entries, as well as legging in or legging out, the proper use of limit orders, there are pros and cons to using these, and the use of advanced management tactics. Now you know the basics of slippage, pristine style. Pristine teaches their students the optimal ways to completely eliminate or greatly reduce slippage properly to help increase trading performance. If you like this 60 second lesson, be sure to view our other 60 second lessons and register for our next online trading essentials class. Four and a half hours of lessons free to viewers of these 60 second lessons if you sign up now. You can also sign up for our free power trading workshops after the market at 415. It's easy to get this information, simply visit our website at pristine.com. Get the correct information from the leader in the industry. Pristine Trading. Trusted by all and teaching the marketplace since 1994. Proud to be the winner of the Trader Planet publicly voted best trading course, best trading room, and best letter. Greg Capra, founder and CEO, record trading challenge winner. And Pristine's preferred broker offers Pristine clients among the lowest commission rates in the industry and can pay for much of your training with commission points redeemable at Pristine.